in this video we will be learning what are the ways to implement our reinforcement learning okay so on the right side you can see there that we have a hierarchy of you know algorithm uh, so so uh, you know L, uh, rl algorithm has been divided into two parts one is model free another one is model based and in the model free you can see different algorithms in model based you can see different algorithm so majorly we will be looking at this algorithm so let's understand one by one what are all these so first is model based reinforcement learning so this approach involve you know building a model of the environment and using it to plan uh, action that you know maximize the expected reward so this can be you know achieved through uh, method like dynamic programming and monte carlo method so we will be learning about this uh, in the later tutorial part as well uh, also python examples so for example uh, a type of reinforcement learning that uses a model of the environment to predict the outcome of action and plan ahead okay so so basically in this type of you know uh, model we will be predicting the outcome of the action uh, uh, using the state uh, rewards xyz uh, <coughs> parameters so for e for example chess player can use a model of the game rules to you know simulate a uh, different move and choose the best one okay so this is an example of model based reinforcement learning now next one is model free reinforcement learning so this is a type of rl that does not use a model of the environment but le learn directly you know from trial and error for example a mouse can you know learn to find cheese in maze by exploring different path and remembering which one lead to reward and this approach doesn't really you know uh, on uh, on building a model of the environment instead it directly learn the optimal policy through trial and error and uh, i mean this can be achieved through method like q learning and sarsa next is deep reinforcement learning now this approach combines neural network with reinforcement learning to learn you know complex policies from you know dimen uh, high dimensional uh, data or you can say input so a type of reinforcement learning that use you know deep neural network to represent policies or uh, you know value value functions so there are different type of you know deep reinforcement uh, one of one of it is deep q network which we will be majorly using in this tutorial i mean in further tutorials uh, to see how you know agent works then we have deep you know deterministic uh, policy gradient and then trust region policy optimization so these are like a i mean different type of deep reinforcement learning so what the example will be so uh, you guys may have heard about you know the go game so there is a company called alpha go or uh, you can say it's a you know a computer program so basically uh, how they become popular because you know uh, there is a you know play uh, there is a you know game called go which is very com very complex to understand for a you know human but uh, but alpha go has you know beat that human i mean uh, who 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 was you know a legendary of this uh, game so that is how you know deep reinforcement learning works so basically it can you know you just have to feed the complex data and then complex um uh, equations to basically understand the game you have to feed all the parameters so that it will it can play any type of game any hard uh, game that you know human human has has been built so yeah so this is how i mean deep reinforcement learning works now is ac uh, actor critic method so actor critic method is a type of reinforcement learning that you know combine policy based and you know value based method so in actor critic method the actor is a policy that decide which action to take and the critic is a value function that evaluate how good each action is okay so i mean uh, the a the actor basically learn from the feedback of the critic and the critic learn from the uh, the reward it receives okay the f for example a3c is a actor critic method that uses multiple parallel you know agent to learn faster okay so this approach combine both value based and the policy based method where the actor learn the policy and the critic learn the value function 
and there are different type of you know uh, actor critic method so it includes advantage actor critic uh, which is also called as a to c then we have a 3 c which is also called as asynchronous advantage actor critic and the last one is proximal proxy uh, uh, policy optimization that is also known as ppo last one is uh, meta rl so basically meta rl is a approach that focuses on learning how to learn where the rl algorithm uh, you know has a set of uh, meta policies that that can be you know used to quickly adapt the new task okay this is how uh, meta rl work in short so this is a type of you know rl that learn uh, you know different task or you know different environment at pace okay so the meta uh, you know agent adapt its policy and you know value value function um, you know based on the previous experience or context so the example will be mammal so maml so it is a meta rl method that you know trains an agent quickly uh, very quickly uh, and you know learn new tasks with just few sample and it is you know full form is mo model agnostic meta learning so yeah these are the you know different type of uh, um, i mean ways to implement uh, reinforcement learning and we will be seeing mm, i mean uh, very soon and from the next video we will be learning about the actual uh, you know brain behind reinforcement learning that is mdps and you know vectors state vectors policies xyz all those information we will be learning now now the main part will come okay so markov decision process these all thing i mean which is behind the reinforcement learning so okay yeah thank thanks for watching this video see you in next tutorial